binomial heap. The binary heap data structure is fine for the simple operations of inserting, deleting and extracting elements, but other operations aren't so well supported. One such operation is the union operation which joins two heaps together. If the heaps are binary heaps, then this requires building up a new heap from scratch using the elements of the old heaps which is expensive for large heaps. This lecture presents the data structure known as a binomial heap which supports union operations more efficiently. Again, binomial heaps can be minimum heaps or maximum heaps and in this case, the focus is only on minimum heaps. Let us look at binomial trees. A binomial tree is the building block for the binomial heap. A binomial tree is an ordered tree that is a tree where the children of each node are ordered. Binomial trees are defined recursively building up from single nodes. A single tree of degree k is constructed from two degrees of degree k minus 1. By making the root of one tree the leftmost child of the root of the other tree. The process can be seen in this figure. In A, you can see only 3 and 5, which are two separate nodes. In B, so these two are, by, in A, these two are binomial trees of degree 0. B shows you the two trees combined into a degree 1 tree. C shows two degree 1 trees combined into a degree 2 tree. Binomial heaps. A binomial heap H consists of a set of binomial trees. Such a set is a binomial heap if it satisfies these properties. For each binomial tree T in H, the key of every node in T is greater than or equal to the key of its parent. For any integer k greater than or equal to 0, there is no more than one tree in H whose root has degree k. The algorithms presented later work on a particular representation of a binomial heap. Within the heap, each node stores a pointer to its leftmost child if it has any and its rightmost sibling if it has any. The heap itself is a linked list of the roots of its constituent trees, sorted by ascending number of children. The data which is shown here is maintained for each non-root node x. Key of x is the criterion by which nodes are ordered. Parent of x is a pointer to the node's parent or nil if the node is a root node. Child of x is a pointer to the node's leftmost child or nil if the node is childless. Sibling of x is a pointer to the sibling immediately to the right of the node or nil if the node has no siblings. Degree of x is the number of children of x. Let us look at some binomial heap algorithms. Creation a binomial heap is created with the make binomial heap function. The allocate heap procedure is used to obtain memory for the new heap. We also have finding the minimum, unifying two heaps, insertion, extracting the minimum, decreasing a key, and deletion. Let us now explore each of these. Creation. Binomial heap is created with the make binomial heap function. The allocate heap procedure is used to obtain more, is used to obtain the memory for the new heap. So that is stored in H here. So head of H 
is assigned to nil. And they are returning h. Finding the minimum. To find the minimum of a binomial heap, it is helpful to look at the binomial heap properties. Property 1 which implies the minimum node must be a root node. This all that is needed is a loop over the list of roots. As you can see here, head of the heap is stored in the best node first and then sibling of best node is assigned to the variable current then while current is not is equal to nil so this is the looping over the list of roots as you can see and there is a condition if key of current is less than key of best node you assign the best node assign the current value to the best node and so if at all you find another node which is more, more or less than the best node which is currently being being assigned then the best node is assigned the value of that node with lesser value so in that way at the end the best node will have the most least value stored in it so finally you end up getting the minimum value Now this is the algorithm of unifying two heaps. Here the unification algorithm is developed. Conceptually the algorithm consists of two parts. The heaps are first joined together into one data structure as you can see here. And then this structure is manipulated into satisfying the binomial heap properties. To address the second phase first, consider two binomial heaps H1 and H2 which are to be merged into H is equal to H1 union H2. Both H1 and H2 obey the binomial heap properties. So in each of them, there is at most one tree whose root has degree k for k greater than or equal to 0. In H, however, there may be up to two such trees. To recover the second binomial heap property, such duplicates must be merged. This merging process may result in additional work when merging a root of degree m with one of degree n. The operation involves adding one as a child of the other. This creates a root with degree p, where p is equal to n plus 1 or p is equal to m plus 1. However, it is perfectly possible for there to already be a node with degree p and so another merge is needed. The second merge has the same problem. If root nodes are considered in some arbitrary order, then after every merge, the entire list must be rechecked in case a new conflict has arisen. However, by requiring the list of roots to be in a monotonically increasing order, it is possible to scan through it in a linear fashion. This restriction is enforced by the auxiliary routine binomial heap merge. This routine starts by creating and initializing a new heap on lines 1 through 9. The code maintains three pointers. The pointer current stores the root of the tree most recently added to the heap. For the two input heaps, current 1 and current 2 record their next unprocessed root nodes. In the while loop, these pointers are used to add trees to the new heap while maintaining the desired monotonic ordering within the resulting list. Finally, the case where the two heaps have differing numbers of trees must be handled. This is done on the last lines. Before the whole algorithm is given, one more helper routine is needed. It is the binomial link routine which joins two trees of equal degree. Binomial link of root branch. Parent of branch is equal to root. 
Sibling of branch is equal to child root. Child of root. Child of root is equal to branch. Degree of root is equal to degree of root plus one. Now, if you look at the full algorithm, the first line creates a new heap and populates it with the contents of the old heaps. At this point, all the data are in place, but the heap properties which are relied on by other heap algorithms may not hold. The remaining lines restore these properties. The first property applies to individual trees and so is preserved by the merging operation. As long as binomial link is called with the arguments in the correct order, the first property will never be violated. The second property is restored by repeatedly merging trees whose roots have the same degree. Let us look at insertion. To insert an element x into a heap h, simply create a new heap containing x and unify it with h. Finally, we'll be looking at the extracting the minimum. As extracting the smallest element from binomial heap is fairly simple due to the recursive manner in which binomial trees are constructed. The only subtlety in this pseudocode is on the line 6, where the next element is added to the front of the list. This is because within a heap, the list of roots is ordered by increasing degree. This assumption is behind, for example, the implementation of the binomial heap merge algorithm. However, when a binomial tree is built, the children will be ordered by decreasing degree. Thus, it is necessary to reverse the list of children when said children are promoted to roots. Decreasing a key. Decreasing the key of a node in a binomial heap is also simple. The required node has its key adjusted and is then moved up through the tree until it is no less than its parent. Thus ensuring the resulting structure is still a binomial heap. As you can see, the key value is assigned to the key of item and then the actual item is assigned to the variable current and we loop over by using the while loop and you take a temporary variable and assign the current value of the node to temp and then basically you swap the values. Deletion. Deletion is simple given the routines which we discussed already. So here you can see that the binomial heap delete function takes in the arguments heap and item. So to the min variable, the value which is written by the binomial heap minimum function is assigned. So you will have the minimum value. Then you call the binomial heap decrease key with arguments with the whole heap, the item to be deleted and using the min minus one. Then you again call the binomial heap extract min function using the heap as the argument. 